Are you thinking about getting Security Plus certified? What's good, you told? It's your boy, Dewan. Are you thinking about getting Security Plus certified? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the CompTIA Security Plus exam. Before we begin, I need to let you know that this video has been sponsored by CompTIA. So if you don't know anything about CompTIA, CompTIA is the leading provider of vendor neutral certifications in the world. With more than 2 million IT certifications issued worldwide, CompTIA is dedicated to helping IT professionals lead the charge in our digitally connected world. For more than 20 years, CompTIA has developed IT training and certification exams. Their regular review and update of exams ensure that CompTIA certifications address the needs of today's technology challenges. Now, before we begin, you can find more information on CompTIA certifications at comptia.org. Feel free to check it out. I have a link to everything I talk about in this video in the description. Now, as many of you may not know, IT certifications are designed to help you get your foot in the door and also help you move up by showing employers you have the skills that they may be looking for. Specifically, CompTIA cybersecurity certification exams include simulations and performance-based questions that prove you not only know what the job entails, but you are also able to do it. Now, if you are looking to get into information security, one of the foundational certs that are out there is the CompTIA Security Plus. The DOD, for example, they have guidelines for IT professionals to meet certain requirements. One of those directives is the 8140. Basically, this directive just states that you have to have minimal certification requirements and training to be able to operate on DOD systems. One of those certifications that most DOD professionals go with is the Security Plus. Right there, that certification will get you in the door in information security. Now, a lot of people don't talk about the type of job titles you can have with the CompTIA Security Plus. Some of those job titles include information security risk analyst, IT security analyst, service desk operator level one, level two, information security specialist entry level, and cyber security specialist level one. Now, there's a million different job titles. You really have to be creative and do your search. Now, I know for a fact that you can find positions that'll start you out from $25 to $30 an hour with just the Security Plus. Now, with that being said, you will have to qualify for security claims. Don't let that fear you. If you really want to get in information to security, go ahead, find a job where you get a clearance, and then you are in a great position to have an amazing career in information security. Now, what type of training is available for the Security Plus? Well, 65% of people out there are visual learners. So for you that are visual, um, we'll talk about you because that's going to be the majority of people. But 30% of you all are going to be auditory learners, meaning you learn by hearing. So you're going to be the people that are going to need like some video training or something like that. And then there's 5% of you that learn kinetically, meaning that you learn by do doing. Those are the people that is normally in class or in a presentation that are sitting fidgeting, can't see, sit still, they're clicking their pen and all that stuff. They need breaks every five minutes. They just have to be doing something. That's how they learn. They, they are very in tune with their hands. So for the Security Plus, there's the SYO 401 and then the SYO 501. The SYO 401 actually expires this month, July 31st. That's the last date to take that exam. So if you have not already started prepping for the exam, and you don't really know anything about security, it may be best for you to go with the SYO 501. But I have a video up here that will tell you all about that. Check it out. Now, the exam itself is $330. It's well worth it. It's, it's a one-time investment if you pass the exam, and then you'll have this cert for three years. Then every three years, the way CompTIA works, you have what you call C, what is it? CEs, or Continuing Education Credits. So all you have to do is continue actively learning something in security, get another security cert from another vendor, or continue on with CompTIA's structure of cybersecurity certs. Long as you continue learning, all you have to do is submit those credits, and then they renew your cert, so you don't have to take the exam again. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Now that we talked about that, the first thing you need to do in order to prepare for this exam is hop over to CompTIA's website, check out the exam topics. I have a link down here in the description. Check it out. 
so once you're over on CompTIA.org, it'll have a box to where you can register for the practice exam and then also the exam topics. I recommend you do that. The practice questions will give you an idea of what the question structure is like for the exam. That'll kind of give you some preparation to know what the exam experience is actually going to be like. And then also the exam topics is what you will follow to know that you're prepared for the exam. Check that out, register, and then once you register, now you will also be able to stay up to date with CompTIA's newsletter. So you'll know what changes are going on in the industry and what type of opportunities may be available for you in that field. It's, it's, it's a great newsletter, very informational. Now when we talk about training and the resources that you'll use, for those of you that are visual, you may prefer books. Darrell Gibson has a book. I'll have a link down here in Amazon. It's an affiliate link. Check that book out. It's the highest rated book on Amazon. I've heard a lot of great reviews about the book. It's the for the SYO 501. And then also there's an exam cram that has a ton of exam questions that will help prep you for the exam. I have both of those linked in the descriptions. Outside of just buying books from Amazon or wherever you want to purchase them, you do have the option of Safari Books. Safari Books is an excellent website for looking at books online. Now, you won't get the physical copy unless you pay for it, but pretty much any vendor book out there that's out there, a certification or a topic that you are interested in learning is probably on Safari Books. Now, it's, it's kind of pricey, but well worth it if you can afford it. And maybe your job may be able to purchase it for you. And then here's another tip. Local libraries often provide a membership to Safari books if you are a member of that library. So check your local library. You may be able to be able to get a Safari books subscription for free. One more tidbit. Safari books also has videos. So if you all are preparing for, let's say, the Security Plus or the A Plus or some other CompTIA certification, check out Safari books because it may have some video training that will help you along your journey. Now, for those of you that are auditory learners, let's talk about Professor Messer. Professor Messer is like the go-to when it comes to A-plus training, security plus training. All, CompTIA, he, he's that person that pretty much has that on lock. And a lot of his videos are free, all here on YouTube. I'm going to have a link to those somewhere, either up here or in the description, to where you can check out his whole series on the SYL 501 or the SYL 401. Whichever one you choose, the links will be in the description. Check him out. I've heard nothing but great things about Professor Messer. I checked out a couple of his videos myself, and I really do enjoy his content. Very informational. He's a veteran in the game. Shout out to you, Professor Messer. Now, he also has a website. So he has these study groups. So if you all are preparing for your Security Plus and you need a little support, which I recommend, find somebody that's going to get on this journey with you. Now, along with that, there are other YouTube videos that are out there, but you want to find something that goes directly with the Zound topics. CBT Nuggets is another platform. Check them out. Great platform. It's very helpful. I have a link to them in the description also. And another one, Safari Books. Those are some great resources for video training for all you auditorial learners. And for you kinetic learners too, because a lot of times when you're watching these videos, they'll have some walkthroughs in order to, for you to be able to be readily alert. Whether you are just starting out your cybersecurity career, moving into a specialty, or solidifying your spot as a cybersecurity team lead, CompTIA has a certification for you. CompTIA Security Plus gives you the foundational knowledge you'll need in any cybersecurity role and in many roles across IT. CompTIA CYSA Plus and the CompTIA Pentest Plus dive further into cybersecurity specialty, validating the complementary skills of offensive and defensive cybersecurity teams. If you've been in cybersecurity for a while and want to remain in a hands-on enterprise security incidents response and architecture role rather than moving into management, the CASP is for you. So that's, that pretty much wraps up the CompTIA Security Plus. I gave you all the tools and resources that you need to go out and be successful to pass either your SYL 401 or your SYL 501. Either way, it's up to you which path you choose, but remember that the SYO 401 expires July 31st, 2018. I thank you all for viewing this video. I want to send a shout out to CompTIA for once again sponsoring this video. Hopefully we can do more videos. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Share it out to someone if you believe it may help them. Also, I would love to hear your thoughts on this CompTIA Security Plus in the comment section below. 
I thank you all for viewing this video. As always, lab every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.